This one we just ripped off Wong Kar Wai. Uh, <laughs> Pinky of Fury was like one of the first ideas was just like, we'll do an action movie, but where the fighting styles are bizarre. And so like very, very early on, Dan and I would just throw around like, what are the weirdest fight styles? And the idea of extremely strong pinkies was like a very fun one that got us excited for sure. Yeah, that would be a, an exciting spinoff. They should hire uh, Andy and Brian to direct it, who are the butt plug boys. They're incredible filmmakers. Uh, them, they and their friends just do YouTube videos, yes. and that's how we found them. Rakakuni uh, was actually inspired by our producer, Jonathan Wong. His dad loves movies, but always used to get the names wrong. So in his family, it was like a running joke, like, oh, like his favorite one of all time was that his dad was like, have you seen this movie, Outside Good People Shooting? It's very good. It's with Matt Damon, he's a janitor, he's very smart, and it was Good Will Hunting, but he couldn't remember the title. We had various ideas of like, Michelle should get movie names wrong. Like early drafts, she was talking about like, you know, the movie with the guy, he has the sunglasses. I'm the guy with the sunglasses. Uh, and that was her version of The Matrix. Um, <laughs> but uh, Rakakuni was our favorite. And yeah, this is the spinoff that I would like to make. Dan and I were just talking about it. Like in the spinoff, everyone has an animal familiar, you know? Like someone has a giant dog they can ride or, you know, <laughs> like a talking bird. This one was so fun to make. It was the most fun day on set probably because we had an actual animatronic and that was just so distracting and fun to play with. And just like, whoa, <laughs> it was like we built our own, you know, robot. Amour et saucisse, uh, est une film française, uh, un film d'amour, un film... Uh, I wonder who, like, what filmmaker we were really referencing. We talked about Carol, which is another lesbian love story, but they, in that movie they have normal hands. We always knew if we were going to do this multiverse film that we had to go to universes that, like, broke logic that really pushed Evelyn's character as far out of her comfort zone as possible. So then we designed this universe to make her uncomfortable. You're a lesbian, you're in love with your tax auditor, and you have nightmare deformed hands. She'll show up there, hate it, and then as an empathy challenge, can we make her love it by the end? Can we make the audience love it? Can we make it like not just a joke? Which is always so fun as a filmmaker to take something that shouldn't work and then like use every skill you know you have to try to make it work. I feel like the spin-off would be directed by Leos Carax, you know, and it would just be like just increasingly absurd musical numbers, you know, uh, more flashbacks to the monkeys. Rocks, I think it came out of us knowing that our movie was going to be too overwhelming and that we needed to give the audience a break. There was something about making the movie as intense as possible and then as relaxing as possible right after each other that while we were writing felt like a good idea. And we just love minimalist filmmaking. We're just not good at it. Uh, sometimes people say that this universe is like the Kirsten Lepore universe, which is Dan Kwan's wife is a stop motion animator named Kirsten Lepore. And her style of filmmaking is like very minimalist. So if we did a spinoff of that, it would be directed by Kirsten. Uh, this one we just ripped off Wong Kar Wai. Uh, <laughs> but it was very early on we came up with the idea that like there'd be a universe where she and her husband weren't together and that they would pine for each other and the idea of like long lost love or impossible love being like woven into our action movie felt like one of the only genres that could hold its own, you know, like that wouldn't, you wouldn't be mad that like the sci-fi was gone. One of the first drafts we wrote the, the line about laundry and taxes, we always knew like that has to be in there. And we just kept kind of re-engineering the movie, always knowing like that's, that's, that works, that's huge, that, that feels good, you know? Our cinematographer Larkin had a lot of fun trying that's to make it as beautiful as he could. <laughs>